If you saw the uh, latest Ken Burns uh, documentary about Jackie Robinson, you heard Justin Johnson's music. It is in it. Congratulations, Justin. Thank you. He is here for the fourth annual St. Louis Cigar Box (laughs) Guitar Festival, and he has been here for all four. Okay, let's let's say this festival, Cigar Box Guitars, which I... Would guess are you making guitars out of gu- out of cigar boxes? Where have you been, Joy? <laughs> In the dark, obviously. <laughs> well, yeah, they've been making uh, well, specifically with cigar boxes. They've been making guitars out of those since they invented cigar boxes really? in the early 1800s. I but, didn't know this at all. You know, more than just cigar mm-hmm. box guitars, um, it's really a celebration of traditional American roots instruments and the, uh, the really the tradition of building instruments out of found objects because people have been doing that since the first instruments were ever built, you know? Right. It's it's about the uh, drive people have for whatever reason to create something out of nothing and be creative with it and make music out of I it. I just love it. What is yours that you have here? Well, I'm holding right here. It's actually a silverware box guitar. Um, this was a you know box back in the day when people used to keep their silver sure. in these old wooden boxes, oh, and they're okay. about the size of an acoustic guitar. No. Yeah. Look at this. Hinges and everything. Uh, how, do, how does that, uh, you know, don't you need like a good sound? I Listen mean, to it. it. Well, actually, yeah, it's a... That is amazing. It, it's, what, what, what about a cigar box, though? That's cardboard. I mean, does do you have to compensate for that with a different... Uh, well, it's, it's funny because a lot of the places where they make the nicest cigars, they actually have some of the best tone woods also, <laughs> and they're very common. So it's not uncommon to find you know, those old Cuban boxes and... Uh, you know, boxes from the Dominican Republic, places like that that are made out of mahogany. Oh, um, I so know, do you cedar, find do you find a box somewhere at a yard sale or something? And go, oh, I got it, I got to take this. Uh, mm. I don't know how many times, especially antique stores, because you can find mm. these boxes from the 1800s, and it's just like tone wood. A lot of times, the aged wood resonates better. The cell no structure kidding. of the wood loosens Have up. Have you actually and dries made out. some guitars yourself? Oh uh, yeah, I've made yeah. I've made several myself, but do I really love working one, right? with working with builders. Um, the one right here, this was built by a, a great friend of mine, Richard Brand from out in North Carolina and uh, he he both uh, has built a lot of guitars for me and also taught me a lot about how to build guitars and a lot of the history he grew up on a farm so he's already familiar with a lot of the concepts behind you know building it's like why go out and buy it I can build it you know I want to make a guitar I want to play it on the porch I'm just gonna make one up spend a day or two maybe a couple hours the st louis cigar box festival in webster groves it's noon to six i know that but you're going to be there at 10 a.m to give lessons right? right i'm going to be doing a workshop and the workshop's totally interactive uh, bring instruments if you want bring questions um, it's basically everyone's hanging out and talking about guitars roots music uh, i'll answer questions on you know how to build them how to play them wow. the history behind them anything people might be interested in so. i just love this and i feel so uh, like i dumb because i didn't know any of this you got to hear smoke and mirrors a double album he has a a new album coming out that he just finished but he recorded it at sun studios uh, smoke and mirrors and the music on it every song has a different sound to it Sun Studios. Sun Studios. Not at his son's studios. Oh, at Sun Studios. The Million Dollar Quartet Studio. In Memphis. Is that what you're talking about? What was that like? Have you worked there before? Oh, it was was amazing. Because to me, history is a huge part of the inspiration to write songs, to perform. And I've played in studios before that are, are, they're really nice maybe, but they're sterile. You know, it's kind of like going into a hospital or doctor's (laughs) office. Yeah. And you have to imagine you're somewhere like Sun Studio to get into it. But, you know, when you go into Sun Studio, um, you know, I don't know how, how familiar you are with the history, when, but yeah, well, Elvis when you recorded it. his first song yeah. there. Johnny Cash recorded his first song there. Roy Orbison, Jerry Lee Lewis. All of these people cut their teeth yeah. there at that studio. And when you approach it, when you're in Memphis and you drive up to it, you go, this is it? Yeah, yeah. so no, tiny. You know, yeah. Wow. <laughs> And you know it's not yeah it's not the most comfortable studio but it's got the mojo you know and that's something you yeah. just can't you can't fake it you can't pretend it it's right there and you know there's there's the spirits and the energy I'm I'm getting goosebumps I always yeah, get goosebumps talking too. about yeah. it and feeling it and we actually recorded the first disc of Smoke and Mirrors at Sun Studio and um, the second disc which was um, all on pre World War II cigar box guitars instruments like that was the second disc. Um, that was recorded actually down, you go take Highway 61 down from Memphis down to Clarksdale, Mississippi. That's the birthplace of blues. And you, and you turn and, right where? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we recorded an old sharecropper shack down there, no set, set up field wow. recording style with the engineers from Sun Studio. And uh, again, we wanted it to be 
authentically Delta. If we were going to play Delta Blues, you know, I played all the parts mm. on all the instruments on that album. The Incredible. first disc is modern instruments, so we wanted that modern but vintage quality, and you can't beat Sun Studio for that. Then that second disc, to get that Delta Blues quality, that are all acoustic on old instruments, only strings that would have been around pre-World War II. The guitar slide I used was an old New York Department of Health water testing glass from early 1900, so everything about it was time uh, period accurate wow and it informs the way you play it makes you feel different when you that's play. A, let's, let's that's hear a something now uh, you have you have two instruments here hopefully we can get to both of them okay. what is that thing on your finger is that a, a this thing is a, a guitar slide on my finger he's a slide okay, guitar a champion thing? by the way <laughs> where'd you get that ring what's that what was that <laughs> what did you say it was 2007 it was 2004 uh, 2004 he was a guitar slide guitar champion and uh, here, I'll give you a history lesson and I'll play a song for yeah. you right here. Okay. A lot of those old blues players, like I said, um, they couldn't go out and buy an instrument. And so they, let's see, they see this silverware box and they put a neck. This is actually an old neck that fell off of an old K guitar. It's warped and the frets are no good anymore. So you jack the action up, which is the string height, and you get this slide on your finger. And you tune it to an open chord. So you, maybe, you know, a lot of those early Delta players didn't get guitar lessons, so they learned from one person or another and did whatever worked. So you might only play the melody on one string. And just slide that up and down the string. I'm You're watching it up so close. so much music come yeah. out of that. I'm and watching it up close and can't tell where most of it's coming from. I know, from. it's <laughs> amazing. Incredible. And I would think that you guys got together and know each other because of the internet. Well, you know, it's it's fascinating uh, because a lot of it, you know, it's basically the interest takes care of that. Whether, you know, before the internet, people were still doing it, passing around um, plans. And actually the first documented plan for a cigar box instrument was the um, Boy Scouts manual in, I think, 18... 1880s. No Can you make a and, guitar uh, out of the manual? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, Probably. Let's look, yeah. let's look at the actual guitar, uh, cigar box guitar. Okay. You yeah. Have oh, here it is. Okay, so they have to be wooden. You can't use a, a This is very heavy. Oh, you can actually, if you listen um, to Smoke and Mirrors, I actually played a, uh, it's an early 1900s cardboard cigar box banjo. It's one of the oldest uh, cigar box banjos known to exist. And you can see there's water damage all over it. It must have been in someone's attic or basement for decades. But it's cardboard, you know, and it was hard to tune because every time you'd tune it, the box would warp, uh -huh. and then all the other strings would go out of tune. But after mm -hmm. it got in tune, it sounded just like a banjo. I mean, I've never heard an instrument that didn't have a skin on it sound that much like a banjo. So it's very interesting how yeah. even cardboard can project like what you would think would be an acoustic instrument like a banjo or a guitar. Now this is both electric and acoustic. Yes, this yes. has this has a, a piezo pickup inside, actually hot glued inside a bottle cap. There's a, <laughs> a, a guitar pickup in there. That's um, wonderful. But it also has a tone that, that is very much its own tone. It has a tin can for a resonator that was hammered, uh, similar to how you'd hammer a cymbal for drums. And it, what it does is it tightens the tension of that tin can lid up and punches, you know, projects the sound out in a totally different way. I'll just, I'll take my uh, pick off here and the slide and I'll just play this one a little different. So you can just imagine someone on their back porch. Oh yeah, yeah. Picking this right. as the sun goes down. <laughs> That's so pretty. Justin Johnson will be at the St. Louis Cigar Box Guitar Festival at 61 Roadhouse in Webster Groves. I think it's 34 Orchard, Old Orchard Avenue in Webster Groves. This Saturday, June 4th, from noon to six, and it's free. 
Now, if you want a lesson, though, and, and some up close time with Justin for ten dollars at ten a.m., you'd be there, right? And all, yeah, the, the workshop from ten to noon is uh, ten dollars to get in that. But all of the proceeds from the workshop go to a, a great charitable uh, foundation called Six String Heroes, which gives guitars and music the lessons veterans. to um, injured veterans um, who were injured in, in service. Every time we have the workshop and festival, everyone's got new best friends when they leave. It's, it's a really an amazing culture that they've cultivated down there at Highway 61 for the fest. Thank you, Justin. You're just a great guy. Thanks so much thank for coming Thank you, guys. In. I really appreciate it. What a nice segment. And thank you to Nighthawk Security for making your segment possible today. They're locally owned and locally monitored here in St. Louis since 1974. Home and business security for the St. Louis metro area for over 40 years. Call 846-4600 and ask for Joe.